No modern army today issues bolt-action rifles as the standard weapon for its units. They linger on as training rifles in some poorer nations, or as police guns, for example Lee Enfield, still used in India today by police forces. And of course, they remain as ceremonial weapons in many countries. A few World War I and II era Mosin-Nagant rifles and carbines have admittedly been issued to some second-line Russian units in Ukraine, mainly in the sniper format. The only bolt-action rifles on general issue in modern First World armies today are sniper rifles, the British L-115A3 long-range rifle being a good example of this. But for infantrymen in the rest of the world, pretty much every army in the entire world today is able to equip its forces with modern or semi-modern assault rifles in some form or another. However, until recently, two nations still had military units that were issued as their standard unit firearm, the bolt-action rifle. And incredibly, in 2023, one of them still does. One was the unit called the Canadian Rangers. Formed in 1947 from an older World War II unit from 1942, this subcomponent of the Canadian Army is made up of Inuit, First Nations, Métis and other Canadians familiar with Northern Canada. Operating in extremely remote areas, the Canadian Rangers conduct surveillance, sovereignty patrols and inspections of the Northern Warning System, a North American air defence radar system. It numbers 5,000 personnel today, and from 1947 until 2015, its primary weapon was the World War II era Lee Enfield No. 4 10 round bolt action rifle. Why? Because after World War II, hundreds of thousands of surplus military rifles were available, as well as an abundance of ammunition and spare parts. The Lee Enfield series of battle rifles are considered some of the finest and best built rifles ever made and being very robust, the number 4 stood up very well to the cold northern conditions found in Canada. It remained in service with the Canadian Rangers for 70 years, until finally a shortage of spares led to its reluctant replacement by the Colt Canada C-19, some 10,000 of these modern 10-round bolt-action rifles being purchased with a shelf life of around 30 years an indication that modern rifles are not quite as robust or able to last as long as earlier weapons. A primary reason for carrying the Lee Enfield in the first place was the requirement for a rifle able to stop all large predators found in the Canadian Arctic, primarily the highly aggressive polar bear. The No. 4 and the new C-19 can do that and operate at temperatures down to minus 51 degrees Celsius or minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So with the Lee Enfield finally withdrawn in Canada, only one modern military still has a unit equipped as standard with antique bolt-action rifles. And unsurprisingly, it also operates in the Arctic. The Sirius Dog Sled Patrol conducts long-range reconnaissance patrolling and enforces Danish sovereignty over a vast area of northeast Greenland. The unit's 14 personnel are selected from the very best of Danish forces and have to undergo an extremely rigorous selection process, and the unit comes under the authority of the Royal Danish Navy. The unit's personnel operate in pairs, each pair with a dog sled team, and are often out on lonely patrols for up to four months at a time. Highly self-sufficient, the unit was formed in 1941 to combat German military activity in Greenland, as the Germans built secret weather stations in the territory to aid U-boat operations in the Atlantic. The Sirius Dog Sled Patrol looked for these stations, which were then neutralised by US forces working in concert with the Sirius Patrol. Unsurprisingly, due to Denmark being under German occupation during World War II, the Sirius Dog Sled Patrol's main weapon was American. They were equipped with M1917 Enfield bolt-action rifles, and incredibly, 82 years later, the unit still uses the M1917 as its main weapon, slightly modified for Greenland service as the M53-17 rifle. The M1917 is an American modification of the 303 pattern 1914 Enfield rifle, or P14, used by second-line British reserve units and snipers in World War I. 
It has a six-round magazine capacity fed by five-round stripper clips, and the caliber used is the 30 or 6 Springfield round. As with the Canadian Rangers, the Sirius Patrol needs a rugged bolt-action rifle able to function in extremely cold conditions and survive a lot of rough handling on long-range dog sled patrols. Primarily, the rifle is used to protect patrolmen from two aggressive animals they regularly encounter, the aforementioned polar bear, which can weigh up to one ton, and to deal with them, the patrol uses M2 armor-piercing rounds in the Enfield and hollow point rounds to deal with enraged muskox. Typically, the patrolmen arrange their Enfield's magazine so every third round is a hollow point. In the past, the backup gun was the pistol M49 chambered in 9x19mm parabellum. Officially, the Swiss Zig P210, the Sirius Patrol found that the round could not effectively deal with a pissed off polar bear at close range and so have switched now to the Glock 20 chambered in 10mm auto, which is more effective as a last resort weapon against polar bears. There are currently no plans to replace the World War I era M1917s, as they still do what it says on the side of the tin, effectively, economically and reliably. And so it is that today, one unit of frontline troops from a first world country is equipped with rifles that first entered service an astounding 106 years ago. Many thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.